guys and welcome back to my channel. So you can already tell by the title that today's video is very exciting because I finally got my hands on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I have no idea if this is upside down or not, which way I'm supposed to hold it, but I got my hands on it and we are making the upgrade from the 8 Pro to the 12 Max. We are finally getting rid of this little button that hasn't existed in Apple for a hot minute. And I am super excited to be unboxing it and showing you my new phone. So I got the 12 Pro Max in silver and it is 512 gigabytes, so half a terabyte of data, which is literally unreal. I'm going to be able to store so many photos. The quality of the camera is supposed to be unreal. And I'm so excited. I honestly thought the box would be white, but I love the fact that it is like black because it's just so sleek. So I literally haven't even taken the plastic off yet because it is the most satisfying part of getting a new phone. So I thought I would do it with you guys and we can experience the ASMR plastic unwrapping experience together. So satisfying. Is it weird that I'm nervous? Oh, I'm a little bit nervous to open it. The box is a lot slimmer than other iPhone boxes, I think, because it doesn't come with like the plug to plug into the wall. I think they've changed that now. Um, so this will be interesting, but the grand reveal. Stop it. <gasps> Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god, you're kidding me! So, before we get into the actual phone, which my iPad is just literally unreal, I'm going to show you what's in the box. So it comes with a charging cable, which I believe is a USB-C charging cable, which I can plug into my Mac. I don't have an adapter for a wall charger for that yet, but we're figuring it out. And then, of course, the little information card. I think that's like your warranty and everything. Oh, and the little thing for your SIM. Duh, that's obviously important. So let's not lose that. And a little Apple sticker. Don't know what I'll do with that, but <laughs> we've got one now. So I've taken the case off my old phone, and I'm just going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is what the backs of them look like. You can already tell the camera on this one is going to be ten times better. And then I haven't peeled it off, but turn it around and the front and... Oh, my McDonald's lot is coming in a second. <laughs> so I'm super excited to open this up. When they came out, I wasn't sure about it being square again, but I think it's great because you can just like sit on things. It just, oh my God, it's so sleek. I've already got fingerprints on it. That's really disheartening, but oh well, I'm excited. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> that is the best feeling in the world. <laughs> Now, let's turn this bad boy on. Oh my god, it's so nice. So it's just on the hello screen and we are going to swipe up, press English, Australia, and get this set up. I don't know if you can see that, but my old phone literally has connected to my new phone and I just have to unlock it and it'll set up my new phone. I'm not gonna lie, I do usually like to start fresh and I totally get rid of all my photos on my phone and just have a brand new phone essentially, but it's actually gonna be really good to have everything over because I still have all of my Europe photos on my phone and everything like that and now, hopefully, they'll transfer straight onto this one. Face ID! Oh my god, stop it! Okay, I'm so excited about Face ID because I don't have it on my current phone. <laughs> this feels so weird. Face ID is now set up. True tone display. Okay, that's fine. Appearance, light or dark. Oh, 100% light. Need some positivity in my life. And now it's just restoring from my iCloud. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go on my old phone and... Yep, my Maccas order is here. So I'm going to put this down. Go get my Maccas and come back and see where it's up to. Got myself an iced chai latte and we're good to go. So the phone is just turning on. You can see you in the reflection. Don't mind the fact that you're still up on a body butter. So hopefully that should start up very soon. 
and we can play around with my new phone. Okay, so my phone is all set up. I've got a really old background of Tide Levi because the last time that my phone was backed up to my iCloud was in 2018. So I'm going to unlock it, I'm going to play around with it a little bit, update everything, put my SIM card in, and then I'm going to show you my updated phone. Okay, so it is quite a while later, but I am back and I have been playing around with my phone for a while, putting in some widgets and just giving it a go. So I'm going to pop a screen recording on this screen here so that you can see what my phone looks like. So this is my phone. I have been playing around with the widgets, like I said. So up the top, I just have my calendar and I've got a little clock there as well. Obviously you do still have the time on the phone, but I just think it looks cool. And then just like my main apps that I use. So my Safari, my mail, my settings, my FaceTime notes and App Store. I feel like they're just common ones that I use. And I have got all of my main ones down the bottom. So I've got my messages, my phone, my camera and my photos. And then going on to the next one, I put in some photo widgets, which I actually used an app to download that. I believe it was just called Photo Widget. And they're just some aesthetic photos that I found on Pinterest and I think they look really cute. And then also on this page I have Messenger, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok and Pinterest. So these are just my most used apps which I have kept on there because they're something that I use day to day and that I often find myself clicking on. And then of course I have my app library with the rest of my apps just floating around in there. But my most important ones are here. I do also have a hidden page on my phone which has some stuff that I cannot show you unfortunately just because privacy reasons but I do have it there and I've just been playing around there's like so many cool features so many things that you can do you can look at different things you can like I've just been playing around with it and honestly I'm still struggling a little bit but it's amazing I still haven't got all my photos over it's a work in progress but I'm absolutely obsessed with it and like the photo widgets are so cute I just think they're such a good addition. I was going to go super bougie and try and put some like little shortcuts on my phone, but I found that going through the shortcut app, app was like actually really frustrating for me. So I changed it up and just kept the apps normal and put some little things on there. So some of the photos and some of the images are from Brooklyn and Bailey's preset pack for iOS 14 and they're unreal. But yeah, that is my phone. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit informative for you. If you'd like any more information about how to update your iOS 14 to make the background pretty or anything else about the phone, if once I've been using it for a while, if you want me to do a what's on my iPhone, I'm happy to do that for you as well. But I am absolutely obsessed with this. The Face ID is the best thing that has ever happened. It's been out for a hot minute, but I was on an iPhone 8, so I didn't have it. <laughs> I had Touch ID, but Face ID makes life so much simpler, except obviously when we're wearing masks, but that's okay, I don't mind. And it's just so sleek and it's very me and I'm so excited to be using this on the rag. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash a huge thumbs up, comment down below and make sure that you subscribe for more content. I have started weekly vlogging and I also have a bunch of content ideas planned. The lighting just changed dramatically. I think the sun went behind a cloud, but if you did enjoy, Again, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye!